Hi, Jonathan Pickup. Welcome to my quick start for VectorWorks Landmark. So what I really like about this exercise is that you learn how to put some plants in, you learn the different ways of putting in plants, you learn about putting in some hardscape and how we can control that. We'll also learn a little bit about the interface of VectorWorks and we'll also learn about counting and how we can actually count plants and hardscape areas. So let's get going. So the first thing you need to do is to go to the description, download the exercise file. This is a template file and as you'll see it's got no plants in it so we're going to learn to put in plants. So this is our tool set that we need here, the Softscape tool set and we need the plant tool. Once you've chosen the plant tool, go to the toolbar here and choose the plant that you want to put in. So I'm going to get this one here, the MEEX plant, it's a Metasidrus excelsa or Bahuda Kawa tree. Now the first mode I want you to use is this one here, the place single plant. When you click it places a plant and it actually has the tag on tells you how many you've got. The next thing I'd like you to do is to place plants every time you click. So come across here and click when you finish double click and it'll count up those plants and it'll show them together as a group. If you want to you can also include things like the outline or the polygon display where you can say I want them in the centers dashed and it'll draw a dashed line between them all. If you create a bunch of plants that you need to join together, select them all, right click and you can change plant grouping and we can choose to group them into a single plant. So now there's five of them. Or you can explode them and so they're all individual plants. I'm going to put in some ground covers next. So I'm going to go here uh, we're going to choose a different plant, this time a ground cover plant. We need something which is smaller, maybe this one here. And I'm going to change to this mode here. Now this is the the rectangular insertion, so it'll create plants in a rectangular grid. But you'll notice that they're rectangular relative to the screen. So these are orthogonal on the screen. If you want to make these orthogonal to the building, you'll need to use this option here. I'm going to click on the corner of the building, click on this corner of the building, and it'll rotate that around. Now what I can do is I can place these plants. They will be in a rectangular grid relative to my building. There they are there, so those are relative to my building. So there's some more down the bottom here. This time I'm going to rotate my view again and I'm going to rotate my view so that it's orthogonal to the boundary. So next time I'm going to go back to my plant, we're going to use the triangular array, we're going to put some plants along here, I'm going to create a little area of planting through here, and when you're finished either go back to where you started or double click, and you'll see that it's put in 28 plants there, and it's put in 22 here. If you want to, you can move that tag to the other side, and there's an option to have the tag to the left. Let's put the tag to the left, there it is there. So I'm going to go back to a top plan view, and there are all my plants. The next thing we want to do is put in some hardscape, and it's going to be easier again if we rotate this to match the house. I'm going to come across here, I'm just going to zoom in with my scroll wheel, and let's start that again. So I want to place this relative to the house, so I'm going to click on that edge of the house, that edge of the house, that'll rotate it for me, now I can place my hardscape. So the hardscape is here in the site modeling tool set, here it is here at the top hardscape, and I'm going to draw a rectangular hardscape, line up with that starting point, back to where I started, and it puts in my hardscape for me. Now you'll notice that the hardscape is rotated to orthogonal. So if I was drawing orthogonal, so here's my joint pattern here. You can see that it's rotated minus 90 degrees. Change that back to zero. My hardscape is now orthogonal. And when I go back up here and choose zero, it'll rotate back around for me. So this is the basics of creating these types of plants and hardscapes. And when I right click and I choose recalculate selected worksheet, you can see that it counts all those up for me. The last thing I want to do is to just do a little bit of hardscaping in this area down here. So again I'm going to rotate parallel to my building, there it is there, and put in a hardscape. So starting here, across to there, that corner of the building, and 
and finish. And again, I'm going to change my joint angle to zero. If you want to make your hardscape more fun, how about we put a, now let's find the midpoint here. We're going to create a bit of a shape on there. And we'll just add those together. Select both of them, add surface, and my hardscape's now got that curve to it. Let's go back to top plan view. And let's right click and we'll recalculate that. And you can see it just adds up all my areas. So this is just a quick start. It doesn't intend to teach you everything you need to know. It's just enough to get you going. Thanks for watching. Now, if you like this movie, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps other people to find my movies. And think about subscribing. Thanks for watching.